So if you live in Illinois, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We're in drought time here. We haven't seen rain in maybe a month. There's a few spots around the state that have gotten some rain, but here in Bureau County, we haven't really got anything in the last month or so, and it's starting to show. This Kentucky bluegrass, this is what I keep at about an inch generally, maybe three quarters of an inch when it's cooler, when it's a bit warmer, like in June, I keep it about an inch and then I let it grow out to a two and a half inches in the summertime. However, I got derailed on that plan because in the middle of May, it just stopped raining and it hasn't rained since. And my grass isn't growing. I cut this two weeks ago and it's still really short. It can't be more than an inch and a half. So it hasn't grown at all in about two weeks, which is incredible for this time of year because Kentucky bluegrass loves June. It's when it thrives here in the Midwest, but right now it looks horrible. It looks like it's in the first week of August and I could say, hey, I'm gonna wait for another week or two before I overseed this and it'll come back nice. But here in June right now, it's horrible. Now, if you take a look at this perennial ryegrass, you'll notice that it looks a lot healthier than that Kentucky bluegrass. Even just laying here, it feels a whole lot softer than that Kentucky bluegrass. It feels cooler, more dense. It just feels and looks a lot healthier, right? If you do this in my Kentucky bluegrass, it's not gonna bounce back. Here, this ryegrass is in much better shape because I've been maintaining it at about three and a half inches and it's doing a lot better in the drought conditions than the low cut turf. Now, the reason for this is you get a deeper root zone if you let your grass grow, right? As the plant grows, the roots get deeper and it can have access to more water where with the short cut turf, the roots are a lot less deep and they don't have access to all the water that you normally have. So that's why it's really important to let your grass grow out in the middle of summer if you don't plan on irrigating because your plants can tap moisture locked deep into the ground. Whereas the low cut turf, it's not gonna be able to access that water. Now I have irrigated that front Kentucky bluegrass quite a bit. Now with this ryegrass, I haven't watered this once this year and it's still holding on to its color. Not by a lot, but it's looking a lot better and a lot healthier compared to the Kentucky bluegrass. Now I got something here that I don't normally have. If you look at this, you can tell that this clover is doing really well in this lawn because it doesn't have to compete as much with the Kentucky bluegrass. Normally, if I'm mowing frequently and the Kentucky bluegrass is growing vigorously, it's gonna outcompete these weeds. And then the mowing, of course, is also going to cut it off and it's just gonna have to keep regrowing and regrowing. And it, the weeds don't wanna do that. They're gonna exhaust themselves when it's stressful. But here in the Kentucky bluegrass, it doesn't have to compete with it right now. So it's doing really well. And I have this ugly patch of clover here. I mean, look at this white flower. These are some ugly looking things. Yeah, so if you look in this perennial ryegrass, you'll notice that you're not gonna find any weeds in here. I just walked around this lawn and I didn't find any clover. I haven't found any dandelions. I haven't found any creeping Charlie. There really just isn't any weeds growing in here because the weeds can't compete with this healthy ryegrass that is out competing everything else in my lawn. So that's one of the benefits of growing your lawn tall is it's gonna just help out compete those weeds. So in the summertime, that's another good reason to raise your height of cut to out compete all those weeds and you don't end up with ugly patches of clover like I have right now. Now in the summer and the heat, the last thing you wanna think about is insulation, but that's exactly what the long cut turf is doing, is it's acting like an insulator, keeping the heat out and keeping moisture locked into the soil. Now, another benefit to the long cut turf is that it almost acts like a forest, right? A forest is gonna provide shade and it's a lot cooler inside the forest in the summer. And that's kind of what the long cut turf does is it acts like a forest creating shade for the soil, preventing water loss. Unfortunately, this time of year, that's kind of what you have to do if you're not going to be irrigating, is keep a longer cut turf. Now me, personally, I love the short cut turf. I think it looks and feels better. However, in the summertime, it's a complete struggle and I'd much rather keep my turf long so it still has that green, healthy look to it and I don't have to spend thousands of dollars over the summer watering my lawn. Now, if you got any questions, let me know in the comments below and thanks for watching.